In a distant and mysterious corner of the world, the Gorgons, daughters of Phrasis and Sido, were born. These sea deities, revered and feared for their power over the seas, gave life to Steno, Uriel, and Medusa. Despite their formidable nature, each sister possessed a unique essence, shaped by their divine lineage and linked to the earthly world. Phrasis, the father, was a sea god known for his ancient wisdom and dominion over the deep sea. Sido, the mother, ruled over the most fearsome sea creatures, imparting to her daughters a commanding presence and a deep connection to the marine realm. The Gorgon sisters grew up on an island shrouded in mist, a bleak and isolated place ideal for beings of their nature. Despite their intimidating appearance, snake-like hair, and petrifying stares, the Gorgons shared a solid familial bond, united by the uniqueness of their existence. Medusa was born as one of the three Gorgons, daughters of the sea gods Phrasis and Sito. Her sisters were Steno and Uriel, both immortal, while Medusa was mortal. The Gorgons were ketonic monsters, that is, related to the forces of the earth and the underworld. They appeared to be women with snakes instead of hair, tusks of boar, wings of gold, and hands of bronze. Their gaze had the power to turn anyone who saw them to stone. They lived in the extreme west of the world, in the region called Gorgonia. Despite her monstrous nature, Medusa was the most beautiful of the Gorgons. According to some accounts, she was initially a beautiful priestess of Athena, the goddess of wisdom and war. Her hair was long and blonde, and her face was incomparable. Her beauty aroused the admiration and desire of many men. Still, she remained faithful to her vow of chastity, consecrated to the service of the virgin goddess. One day, while Medusa was serving in the temple of Athena, the sea god Poseidon saw her and fell in love with her. Poseidon was a powerful and capricious god who did not accept the rejection of any woman. So, taking advantage of Athena's absence, he entered the temple and raped Medusa on the sacred ground. Medusa became pregnant by Poseidon and suffered great humiliation and pain from the rape. When Athena learned of what had happened, she was exceedingly enraged. However, she did not punish Poseidon, her uncle and one of the most critical gods on Olympus, but Medusa, a mere mortal. Athena considered that Medusa had profaned her temple and her honor, and that she had been an accomplice to Poseidon's infidelity. Therefore, she cursed her and transformed her beautiful hair into poisonous snakes, and her face into a horror mask. Moreover, he gave her the power to petrify with her gaze so that no one could ever look at or love her again. Medusa became a monster and was expelled from the temple of Athena and the civilized world. She took refuge on the island of the Gorgons, where she lived with her sisters Steno and Uriel. There, she spent her days weeping and mourning her fate, hating Poseidon and Athena for what they had done to her. Her only company was the snakes that covered her head, whispering words of comfort or revenge. Medusa lived like this for many years until, one day, a young hero named Perseus arrived on the island. Perseus had been sent by King Polydectes of Seriphos, who wanted to marry his mother Danae, to fetch Medusa's head as a wedding gift. Perseus had the help of the gods to fulfill his mission. Hermes lent him winged sandals to fly. Hades gave him a helmet that made him invisible, and Athena gave him a shield polished like a mirror to avoid looking directly at Medusa. Perseus arrived at the island of the Gorgons and found them asleep. He crept up on Medusa, guided by her reflection in the shield, and cut off her head with a single blow. From Medusa's blood were born the winged horse Pegasus and the giant Chrysor, sons of Poseidon. Perseus kept Medusa's head in a magic bag and fled from the island, pursued by the other Gorgons, who woke up when they heard their sisters cry. However, Perseus managed to escape thanks to the winged sandals and the helmet of invisibility. Perseus used Medusa's head as a weapon to petrify his enemies, such as the sea monster Sido, who threatened Princess Andromeda, with whom he fell in love and married. He also used it to take revenge on King Polydectes, who had tried to rape his mother Danae, and his brother Dictus, who had betrayed him. Finally, Perseus gave it to Athena, who placed it on her shield, the Aegis, to symbolize her power and protection. Steno was the three Gorgons' oldest, fiercest, and strongest sister. Her name means strong in ancient Greek. 
Steno had a high-pitched and shrill voice, which could cause pain and fear to anyone who heard it. Steno protected her sister Medusa from intruders who tried to kill her and chased Persis when he cut off her head. However, Persis managed to escape thanks to the winged sandals Hermes lent to him. Steno continued to live with his sister Uriel on the island of the Gorgons, where they terrorized sailors who approached their shores. Steno had no children or lovers and devoted himself to serving his mother Sido, the goddess of sea monsters. Steno symbolized strength, time, and death in Greek religion. She was represented by the letter S, which evoked the shape of a snake. Steno had two faces, one looking into the past and the other looking into the future, symbolizing the cycle of life and destiny. Steno also guarded the dimensional gates to the realm of death, where the souls of the departed resided. Steno did not have a definite end in Greek mythology. It is believed that he lived eternally with his sister Uriel, isolated from the world and hated by humans. Some versions say that Steno and Uriel were defeated by Heracles, who fought them with the help of Athena and Hermes. Other versions say that Steno and Uriel became the protectors of the islands of the Hesperides, where the golden apples that granted immortality grew. Uriel, the youngest and most beautiful of the three Gorgon sisters, bore the name meaning of wide wandering in ancient Greek. She was noted for her long, abundant hair, a cascade of multicolored snakes that complemented her unique beauty. Her face reflected an exceptional sweetness, and her deep blue eyes captivated whoever looked at them. Her beauty aroused admiration and affection in many beings. However, she remained loyal to her nature and duty to the earth. Uriel was the calmest and most peaceful of the sisters. Preferring harmony and avoiding conflict, she lived in tune with her environment. She felt a deep affection for Medusa and mourned her death inconsolably. <laughs> Although she did not share Steno's violence, they maintained a cordial relationship. Uriel was known for her kindness and generosity towards animals and plants, and possessed a special gift for healing with her hands. Uriel had a son with Poseidon, the god of the sea. Ortro, a two-headed dog, was the guardian of Gerion's flock. She raised him tenderly, teaching him to be loyal and brave. Orthro's death at the hands of Heracles, who took his life to steal Gerion's flock, left Uriel in deep sorrow. In his honor, she dedicated an altar to him on her island. Uriel was also the mother of the sirens, half-woman, half-bird creatures famous for seducing sailors with their songs. She gave them the gift of music and passed on their beauty and melancholy. The Sirens, also daughters of Poseidon and the muse Melpomenon, were raised by Uriel with love and warned about the dangers of the sea. Uriel's final fate is not clearly defined in mythological accounts. Some stories suggest that she continued to live eternally with her sister Steno, isolated and feared by humans. Other accounts indicate that Heracles defeated Uriel and Steno with the help of Athena and Hermes. At the same time, some versions suggest that they became protectors of the Hesperides Islands, custodians of the precious golden apples that granted immortality. After Medusa's death, her sisters Steno and Uriel were submerged in a sea of anger and mourning. Although their bond was strong, the loss of Medusa led them to embark on a quest for revenge that would ultimately prove fruitless. Unlike Medusa, Steno, and Uriel, being immortal, continued their existence far from the eyes of mortals, becoming increasingly distant and forgotten figures as the years passed.